What up, y'all? Y'all ready for some football? Well, if so, y'all kicking it with y'all boy Trap the Flight. You know what it is? My plane just landed, and I gotta go. Peace. Holler at me. on EA Sports and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off and here we go from Levi Stadium. Amari Rogers to return it from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. There he goes right side. How about that return? As he's all the way inside the 20 yard line. There hasn't been a game played where defenses don't talk about coming out on their toes and being the aggressor. But boy, when you give up a return like that, you're really starting it on your heels. Let's see how they adjust. Tunyon, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. sense they hit him with a big shot right away you don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker right go ahead and go for two they did they're in control and he'll be brought down at the 28 yard line so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more here we go, here Garoppolo we go. gonna bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 28 yard line they start on the ground with McCaffrey. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Gold with the extra point, and this is now a one-point game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. On a return from his end zone, Rodgers. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline. You know he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Now Rodgers. And this is caught by Watkins. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Oh, 
Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers as his guys are able to extend their lead. Rodgers will throw for it. And he will get into the end zone. And it's now a two-score game as the lead moves to nine. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't go, it? Go. Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments for better repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 27 yards. And the Niners have got it back to within a score. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. On play action, Rodgers. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. To throw on second and 10, Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 38. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, now Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Play action, now it's Rodgers. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there of what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Here now, third and two. Rodgers again now. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's a hell of defense. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? And they've got another first and ten as the penalty keeps this drive moving. Rodgers to throw once more. Now he's got it. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers, three first half touchdown passes. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. But let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance to stop passing now the way that it's going. I think we're going to continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here we go, here we go, here the we go. The 49er ought to get this drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. 
Uh, you're not going to hear Jimmy Garoppolo mentioned among the strongest arms in the league, but that doesn't mean he can't beat you with a long one. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. That was well defense right there. He saw the play in front of him and able to hold the point of attack. Then he sheds it and goes and makes a tackle for a loss. Here we go, here we go, Already here we go. down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And he hauls it in. And the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Tyler Croft from 17 yards out. And the Niners' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Garoppolo looking to throw for it. And this one is caught. So they come up with a two-point conversion. And that makes this a one-point game now. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put... He's got a man complete! Sammy Watkins, he's going to go! And I think the ball's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here we go. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's got room. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. 126 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. Here go, here A guy go, who go. keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Darnell Savage there to make the tackle. On second down, McCaffrey. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Niners will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. 
A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On play action, it's Rodgers. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. When I saw the pressure coming at him, that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here we go. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Good. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And shutting him off now open field. There he goes left side. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. They sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's gonna get this one down near the 45-yard line. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here we go, here They'll go. lead the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Now Garoppolo. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. 
sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Here's McCaffrey, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big... And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown for Touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. And he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that bumps their lead up even further. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Rodgers now on first down. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And again, it's Rodgers. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 16. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. That's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now Jones, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. The Packers will set up for the third point conversion. They'll look to throw. And he'll get in for the score. And that's going to cut the lead down to 13. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll run with McCaffrey. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Here we go. The Niners on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three to throw. It's Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Garoppolo to throw for it on third. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. To throw again on second down. Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Rodgers to throw on third and one. Touchdown! Robert Tunyon from 13 yard town. And the Packers have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down, that was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Rodgers will throw for it, and he will get into the end zone. So that shaves two more off the deficit as they now trail by five. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Here we go, here we go. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. McCaffrey, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Garoppolo now. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. On the move past the 40. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Here we go. On the ground, McCaffrey. 
And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a run with McCaffrey. Eric Stokes in on the tackle. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that rushing touchdown is Ford puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. That's caught. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Rodgers now on first down. Right side to Watson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Rodgers. And he finds who else? Watkins. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Rodgers. And it's caught. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Second and goal from the one. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition work in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. Third and goal. Keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Oren Burks. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And into the end zone, a pick six. A good motherfucking game, man. Good game, bro. Good motherfucking game. See your motherfucking shit. Good game, man. I fuck with you. They're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. They're looking to get another one. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the title as this one ends. And understandably, so not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And I have no idea what the top speed is. <clears throat> on all those high-end sports cars, what's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one. Everything clicking for them in this contest. The kind of performance that they're going to cherish. They're going to cherish. <clears throat> what up y'all as y'all can see
I started out playing bad. He got he got the jump on me. I won't work. He got ball first. He's so rushing. He's so willing to rush the score before I can or even shut him down. I watched him move, watched him play, studied everything. I said, okay, maybe let me keep running the same jump. And he bit for the cheese like a rat. He fell on his face. With that being said, I climbed my way back in it. So you down on mad, man, don't give up, man. Find a way. Keep going through plays. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's how you tell greatness. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get to that level of being legendary. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. It's your boy trapped the flight. I'm over and out. I showed you today anything is possible. Even when you down, if the clock don't say zero, zero, you have a chance to win it all. My flight just landed. I got to go. Peace out, boys and girls. Stay safe. Holla at me. You know what it is.